Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel, The Nursing Chronicles with Monique. I am Monique. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already subscribed, please like and subscribe this video. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Um, and press that little bell. That way you'll be notified of all my uploads um, in the future. So this here is the EPA's list. This is dated 3-3-2020. Uh, of the antimicrobial products for use against novel CV, SARS, um, and um, whatever causes COVID-19. So this is actually from the EPA and I will leave the link down below. Um, this is new and these are the actual um, solutions um, and or wipes or sprays that are effective in killing uh, CV, SARS, COV-2, and whatever causes COVID-19. So let's look at this list, guys. Okay, so it has the product name, the company, and what is it is, whether it's a solution or a wipe. So there's many different ones here, but the ones that we know of, um, let's see, some of these I never heard of, peroxide disinfectant, and glass cleaner, Echo Lab. I never heard of them. Raptor 5, Condor 2. I never heard of these detergents, but there's some Firebird F130. I oh, never heard of them. Let's see, but let's get to the ones that we know Clorox. So these are all the Clorox supplies, and this is the company Clorox here. And some of these are solutions. Um, so Clorox disinfecting bleach 2. Okay. Clorox germicidal bleach three. Okay, so that's those are so go get you some Clorox. So if you can't get you some wipes, um, you can um, get you some Clorox bleach and um, disinfect with that and some gloves. Um, let's see what else. Here we have a wipe, Clorox disinfectant wipes, Clorox toilet bowl cleaner with bleach, um, Clorox performance bleach one. Okay, let's scroll down some other ones. I never heard of this, Sterilex. So let's see what other ones. Okay, more Clorox um, uh, toilet bowl cleaner with bleach. So more Clorox, more Clorox, more Clorox. Uh, let's see. Some of these I've never heard of before. Lanza, Guards, never heard of them. Let's get to some of the other ones that we know, Lysol. So here we have the Lysol um, brand P Power Plus Toilet Bowl Cleaner. Lysol brand bleach mold and mildew relief remover. Let's see what else. Lysol. Lysol clean, Lysol brand clean and fresh. You scroll down. Multi-surface cleaner and the professional Lysol disinfectant spray. So that's one we could use, right? So you can get you some, if you can't find the um, disinfectant wipes, you can get the Clorox bleach. And then you can also get the Lysol disin disinfectant spray, according to what this says here. Lysol brand, toilet bowl cleaner, toilet bowl cleaner, toilet bowl disinfectant, toilet bowl cleaner. Yeah, Max Cover Mist. So let's see what else, what is it? Okay, Purell, Professional Surface Disinfectant Wipes. So those wipes are um, the Purell ones. And let me see if the Peak Disinfectant and yeah. So basically, let's read what it says. An individual pesticide product, let's see. Let me see what what are they talking about here? Okay, identification number. It says it says in addition to primary products. So in addition to the products on this list, other distributors may sell products with identical formulations and identical efficacy as the primary products. So other products may work just as well with the exact identical uh, formulation. But thus far from what we can see, Purell wipes, we got the Clorox bleach, Clorox wipes, 
um, Purell wipes, um, Lysol disinfectant spray. So if you cannot find the wipes, get you some bleach, Clorox bleach. You can make your own wipes with that and wipe surfaces down, or you can use the Lysol disinfectant spray. And it basically is saying that these are definitely um, at the top here. And I will leave the link. EPAs, which is the Environmental Protection Agency's registered antimicrobial means that it kills microbes products for use against this COVID um, or CV as I'm referring to it. So guys, when people were saying that it um, does it kill the virus? Yes, it does. It kills it on surfaces. Uh, so it definitely does. It does um, kill it. Now what test they did, I don't know, but this is as of March the 3rd, 2020. And I will leave a link to this down below. So that way you know for sure what products you can use um, and what products they're saying are effective against killing CV. Now, let's talk about something else that I thought was really interesting. The epicenter of this particular virus was in Washington State at that nursing uh, home facility. I think it's Life Care. Um, and basically I was listening to a gentleman giving an update as to what's going on. Um, they have started testing the current patients that are there, but they don't have enough tests. It's like the government is doling out test, you know, piecemeal, piecemeal, which I'm not understanding why, because I did hear Trump say that millions of tests by the end of the week would be available. And it doesn't seem to be the case. I'm not sure what happened if they weren't able to deliver them. What I would find very interesting is that there started out, according to um, the numbers, the figures, they started out with 160 employees working at that nursing home, and at least now 70 have been exposed or test positive or have symptoms of CV. So they had to call in the Public Health Service Corps. And if you don't know what the Public Health Service Corps is, it's a division of like, almost like the military, but for the medical. So if there's any type of situation, there are nurses, doctors, and other staff that they can, who are already trained. And so they can call them up, just like the military would call up a soldier, call up a nurse or a doctor, and then those nurses or doctors would go help out where needed. So they had to call up the Public Health Service Corps to go to the nursing home out there in Washington State to help backfill positions because, first of all, they probably can't get anybody to come work there just because of the outbreak. Nobody really wants to go there to work. And then other hospitals and facilities, as far as shortages are concerned, there's probably not enough people to go around. So what I find interesting is there are still some employees working there, right? They are going back and forth home. Some are just quarantining themselves at the facility because they don't want to risk, you know, infecting their family members. But guess what, guys? They haven't tested the employees. They have not tested the employees who are directly working with those patients. And I'm going to tell you why they're not. And if any of you guys... um understand why and guess it um you're probably right so they haven't tested some of these employees are getting in their cars going home going out into the community going and doing whatever and um coming back to work and some have chosen to just stay there but everyone can't do that and so the representative today was giving um was being asked questions and they were like well you know when are you guys going to test the employees and they have not tested those employees because what happens is if they test those employees, just like they test any employee at a, a, at a hospital, they're probably going to really slow walk testing nurses and doctors. And I'm going to tell you why. If they test them and they're positive, you're losing staff right there. You're losing staff right there. So these employees may potentially be infecting other people and patients. But if they test you and the test comes back positive, you can no longer take care of patients. You're infected. 
So they cannot test. They don't. This is my belief. I believe that they're not testing them because if they do test them, they're going to come back positive more than likely. And then they lose that staff. And if that repeats at every hospital throughout the U.S., you're talking about and this is what I believe. And this is what some um, other healthcare professionals have said and other very well rounded individuals that what will happen is and when we will probably eventually be quarantined is when the healthcare um when the healthcare system kind of goes into chaos which means the first first the first the first um providers when they um are not able to take care of the people and there are more people than what they can take care of the first responders. That's what I meant to say. Um, and so when that happens and the nurses are tired or there are too many people coming in and this is what happened in Italy, they had so many people dying every day and so many people, you know, deteriorating so rapidly, it put a strain on the healthcare system. And I'm sure the nurse was like, we can't do this. So they had to quarantine everybody to stop the spread. And, I think we're about a week out from that. So guys, that's why I tell you just to stay healthy. Try to stay close to home. Um, limit your exposure. Boost your immune system. Because we, you know, I mean, you can people can only do what they can do. You know, and the first line responders, you know, if the system just goes chaos and you have a thousand patients come to your ER, but you, you don't have enough nurses you it's it's an impossible situation so I think that's the reason why they're not testing them because they know if they test people they're going to come back positive and then they're going to have to be out of work and then who's going to take care of people there so they don't have an unlimited supply of public health service nurses and guys they do have the ability to call nurses up um the government to issue that. But my point is if everybody's infected and people are sick, you can call people up all day and night if they're not feeling well. And if they're not able to, I mean, what can you do? You know, you, you, there were a lot of nurses and doctors who have died over in Wuhan in China, right? A lot of our um, fellow nurses and healthcare workers over there, they put their life on the lines and, and lost their life guys. So, um, just to give you this update as to what the um, EPA has said is really effective um, with killing the CV SARS slash COVID-19 on surfaces. And so what I'm doing here in this house is as um, the individuals in my house come in, they are getting um, shoes are always outside anyway. They're getting dressed in a particular area. And if it gets really bad, I have some um, plastic sheeting. I think I'm going to put it up anyway that separates the door from the inner side. And they'll just get undressed there where they've been getting undressed, taking their clothes off putting them in the washing machine or sanitize and then drying them and then going upstairs straight to the shower. And then I come behind with my gloves on with my Lysol and my wipes and I wipe everything down, doorknobs, um, banner, you know, the banister countertops, the drawers, the refrigerator handles. I just wipe everything down. So that's what we've been practicing this for about uh, two weeks now. And so you guys have to come up with a system in your house, how you guys are going to kind of keep safe and keep, you know, prevent, you know, individuals um, or prevent, you know, contamination of surfaces, that type of thing. Because at this point, we don't know who has what at this point. Right. Um, some people are asymptomatic or you know, some people won't come down with symptoms for maybe two, three weeks, sometimes four weeks. The incubation period is anywhere from 14 to 20, I would say 28 days to be safe. So if people are, and that's why I said people are being exposed within another week, it'll probably be about 14. And then by the end of the month, and I don't even think by the end of the month, I think by maybe the 20th, it will explode to where the hospitals will probably end up being overwhelmed. I'm not trying to be negative Nelly, but it's just a, a reality of what, what makes us so different in the United States of America than um, all of these other places? You know, I think um, 
So they were inundated and had to go on complete quarantine. So guys, it's you still got a little bit more time to prepare. So I think you guys should just prepare to be in your house for over a month. Um, that's my personal belief. Um, that you should have those items that you need for with medications and all of that for well over a month. Because if the healthcare system gets inundated, there's no safety measure. And that's when crazy stuff can start to happen. So, you know, um, with nurses, we can do but so much. But they're not even testing those, the staff that's at that nursing home. And I've seen this time and time again on TV about doctors and nurses who are acting, asking people asking to be tested and they're not testing them. They're just not. And I'm not understanding what the logic is behind that. But the logic to me is if you don't test them, the numbers don't exist. And or if you test them, there goes your medical staff. Because I think that everybody's going to end up more than likely probably testing positive somewhere down the line. Maybe. I don't know. That's just my opinion. So those are my opinions. So I'm going to put that list there. And uh, people were absolutely right. The Lysol and Clorox does kill the um, CV uh, COVID-19 virus on surfaces. Um, and so Purell wipes, they do as well. I didn't know Purell made wipes. I, th I thought they only made the hand sanitizer. But this is not an all-inclusive list because there are other brands that have the same formulation, but it doesn't tell you who those other brands are. It gave you basically some of the basic ones. But guys, when you're using these wipes and stuff, put on gloves. Um, use gloves when you're using these wipes and getting them out of the container because those chemicals go into your system as well. So just put gloves on when you're disinfecting and using those wipes and things like that. Okay. So I'm going to leave this list below. Tell me what you think. Do you think they're not testing the nurses or the staff at that nursing home? Um, why do you think they're not testing them? So I'm going to continue to bring you guys updates um, as to what's going on. I think as of tonight, um, there were 33 states. I give it by Tuesday, Wednesday, all states will be covered in red that they have someone because this has actually guys been circulating from my estimates. And this is my personal estimates in the U S since probably November, November, December, give or take might've been a little bit sooner. Mm -hmm. It's been circulating here since, um, November and I'm thinking that some of these cases of pneumonia that you've had in the hospital um, that some of you may have seen may have certainly because it's, it's been a very rough season and they were calling it the flu but I don't think it was the flu I think it was this um, CV and um, people didn't know that they had it and they weren't testing for it so you may have had patients in your hospital with cases of pneumonia um, that they may have succumbed to or just you know really couldn't shake and it was this particular situation so it's been here um, but you're gonna find uh, people just you know um, and we're just you know for our elderly people please try to stay at home order your food if they come to the door put a mask on wipe everything down um, let them leave the stuff at the door. You put your mask on and, you know, just try to stay safe, stay safe because um, this is affecting our um, elderly population and we want them to be safe as well. It's adversely affecting them and hitting them really, really hard. So, um, you know, try to stay home. Don't go on any cruises you know, just try to avoid crowds, you know, go to church online. Don't go to places where there are large gatherings. You know, just be, use, use your, you know, use your discernment, you know, just use some precaution. But definitely, um, this is a list that you can give to your, you know, job or um, if they're not sure, 
and say, look, this came from the EPA. They are saying this list and these are the things that kill. So if you have to purchase something or, you know, purchase supplies or that type of thing, then you go ahead on and whip out this list. And, you know, if you have to order supplies for your company or organization, you know that these things um, are effective in killing that particular virus. So, guys, nurses, stay safe. Uh, boost your immune system. Get your rest. Take your supplements, you know, and pray. All right, y'all. Re please remember to like, share these videos with other nurses because this is good information here, guys. I think so. Um and like and subscribe and i will see you on the next episode of the nursing chronicles with monique peace y'all